Hey everybody, um, last weekend we had our open weekend and sundews were a big hit with uh, everybody that came out to see us and thank you so much for those that did. If you picked up a new sundew, I wanted to walk you through my propagation uh, process that I've just kind of started this last year, um, which is the way we produce a lot of new sundews very quickly. <clears throat> now sundews are very easy from leaf cuttings, which is basically just take any surface of the leaf and cut it up into segments um, and then propagate it that way. Um, the thing that's unique about sundews also is that you can stick them straight into water, uh, into a jar of clean water with you know just a, a little bit of um, saran wrap over the top or something to keep the humidity in and put them in a sunny window and let them grow out that way. So the way we do it is a little bit more of a hybrid. We put them in our 1020 trays and we fill it all the way to the brim with water. And then we fill these pots with a little bit of sphagnum moss um, just so that they're basically in water, but they have something to root into once they begin growing. So these we took uh, about two and a half to three weeks ago. Um, all of our sundews in the collection, we took various cuttings from to make new plants for our sales area. And so we're just starting to get some growth on these and I wanted to show you. So this is our web leaf sundew, uh, Drosera dichotoma giant. And if you see, there's leaves that are just kind of sprinkled around, but you can see new growth just starting right there. Um, let me see if I can find another good example, but this works great for thread leaf sundews, um, web leaf sundews, basically uh, anything that uh, is a sundew, you can just kind of cut some leaves up and uh, put them into um, a little bit of sphagnum like I talked about. So here's another one. This is just our uh, Tracy eye, the albino thread leaf, that all green form. And I'm trying to get it really in focus, but if you look really closely on that leaf, you can see just the beginnings of some new plants starting to form. So from here, we will leave these under our lights, uh, under a humidity dome <coughs> with this much water. Um, probably for another month or so, maybe a month or two. What you want to wait for is kind of when the very first little baby um, roots start poking out. And then as they grow out, let me show you ones that are a little bit further along that haven't been bumped up yet. But as they grow out, you will have <coughs> totally brand new plants like this. Um, and at this size, they can really be potted up and just moved outside, um, just dealt with like any other of your sundews, and I apologize, this one's pretty messy. It's been a while since I've looked in here, but you can see pretty decent sized plants in there. And so that's how we create our sales stock of sundews. Um, and if you're at home and you just picked up a new sundew this weekend, hopefully this is helpful for you to learn how you can propagate your sundews. Um, but yeah, it's very, very simple, very easy process. Probably the easiest of any of our plants that we propagate um, are the sundews. So hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.